So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today. We've got some more Pez 2021 news information. We're going to be diving into the day one patch, what it's going to feature possibly, um, as well as looking at the stadium list and obviously the teams that are going to be licensed, etc. So if you do enjoy it, smash the like button, please. I do appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And if you enjoy watching Pez or even FIFA this year, because I'll be diving into both worlds, then please do subscribe uh, for your daily content. Now, let's dive into it. So they've updated the website, all right? But it's a little bit confusing because this year, the transfer window is slightly different. It's closing on the 5th of October, as opposed to previous years when obviously COVID wasn't lurking about and the transfer window would have already been shut. What this means is when you get PES 2021, Day one, okay, most leagues, most teams are not going to have updated 2020-21 teams. There are a few exceptions, but mainly you are going to have to wait to play Master League this year, which is a bit of a shame. It normally is a, you know, a bit of time, but you're going to have to wait probably like six weeks, five weeks to really start a solid Master League if you want all the transfers done and you're not going to do them yourself now pez universe ourselves there's no point us going in there updating all the transfers because they're gonna get all reset once this update comes out for pez 2020 we may update them ourselves as well but those probably will not be updated there won't be a live update pack for pez 2020 let me tell you this much they're not going to do that it will be purely for pez 2021 so if you look at this table it shows you the leagues, obviously. You've got the Premier League, Skybet, La Liga, etc. And then right here, you've got license data that's included at launch. So that's at launch before downloading the day one patch, which is always free. And then on the right-hand side, you've got license data included in day one patch. And it's got the 2020-21 season for the Premier League, the Skybet, um, Liga Nos right there. You've got the uh, Russian League. I think that's the Danish league as well. And that's pretty much it. Those may only be the leagues that are updated or the rosters when you pick up the game on September 15th. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. And that's the finicky thing about it. Because I don't know if we get the game on launch. Because it's saying Skybet and it's saying the Premier League. What does this mean? Does it mean they're going to update the transfers up until around the early September-ish time, which means Chelsea will have Thiago Silva, Werner. If United get Van der Beek, they'll have him as well. I don't know 100%, and this is why it's kind of confusing, but judging from this, the Premier League may be updated, the Sky Bet may be as well, but a lot of leagues will not. So if you're hoping to start La Liga, Day one, you're not going to have the updated uh, transfers, unfortunately. So let's scroll down a little bit more so you guys can understand the gist of it. Um, so the leagues listed below will not be available in league mode, master league, or become a legend at launch, right? These teams will belong under the other category, you know, the other European teams category in game. Once their officially licensed data is implemented via a free day one patch, they will be moved to their appropriate categories. So that's the Belgian league and the Danish league. So it looks like they're still undergoing the whole license treatment for them. Now, this is the big news right here, all right? This is what you want to know. Um, the following leagues will be updated to the 2021 season via a data pack scheduled for release post-launch on October 22nd. That's right. That's five weeks after the game has come out. So you're going to have to wait five weeks, ladies and gents, if you want to play a Master League with every single league updated with the proper transfers. That's City A, um, B, you've got the Swiss League, the Belgian League, you've got the Turkish League, you've got La Liga, and then obviously La Liga 2. So that's the, uh, that's the tough one to really swallow. If you're going to want to play Master League, ladies and gents, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer and uh, this game also comes to the afc champions league license that's not the champions league license that's the uh, afc champions league license uh, our licensing agreement with both ac milan and inter is set to expire as you guys know and these clubs will not appear in pez 2021 
don't worry, they're not. They're still there. They just won't have the logos, etc. Uh, this season, we encourage users to enjoy matches with Milano, RN, and Lombardia, NA, two Pez original clubs that feature players with real names. So don't worry, that's basically your AC Milan and your Inter Milan. Those will be done with the Pez Universe option file, etc. So that's the first piece of news, all right? To clarify, and I'm stating this numerous times so people know what's happening. If you want to play a Master League day one with all the updated rosters for every league, it's not going to happen. We are going to have to wait until the data pack drops on October 22nd. That's when it's all done. Remember, the transfer window closes on October 5th. I still think it's a little bit... It's taken them too long. I would have maybe given them a week afterwards to update all the transfers. There are a lot. But this isn't FIFA. It's not as big of a game. However, Konami also isn't as big of a company they don't have as many people working for them of course but still it's a long time to wait take that into account i'm hoping what this means is at least the premier league will be done i really don't know it's kind of hard to judge i don't know if this is talking about roster updates or just other licenses no clue but either way we'll find out when the game does actually drop so let's now talk about uh, a few other things. So these are the partnered clubs. We've got Barcelona, as you know, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Manchester United, and Arsenal. So those will all be licensed for you. Then we have Schalke, Roma. We've got Celtic, Rangers, Sao Paulo, Flamingo. We've got the Corinthians, uh, Zenit St. Petersburg, Vasco da Gama, Atletico Mineiro, um, Universidad de Chile. I'm just going to make these names up. Uh, Colo Colo, River Plate, Boca Juniors, Alianza Lima, Sporting Crystal, uh, Universitario, if that's right, give myself bonus points, and Sport Boys. So there we go. Those are all the partnered clubs for this year. Let me know if you're excited about that. Now, exclusive 2020 Euro content. Um, so this year, we're excited to be continuing our relationship with UEFA. Our exclusive partnership allows us to bring you an authentic in-game version of one of Europe's most renowned, whoops, go away, international tournaments, Euro 2020. So in uh, PES 2021, it will come with fully licensed data for all 55 teams participating in the Euros, making it the perfect platform to experience the event. A free online update must be downloaded in order, downloaded it did, in order to access the content. So I don't know if they're saying that PES 2021 will actually have the competition like we downloaded for PES 20, or it's just going to have the fully licensed teams. If you have the competition in there, because as we know, the Euros is being pushed back till next year, what with everything going on in the world. But will it have the cut mode in there at launch? Remains to be seen. I would think so, to be fair, but hey, we will wait. Now let's move on to the club teams. Okay, so this is a list contains the teams that will be available in game after the day one patch has been applied. Um, so yeah, I don't actually think that the Premier League is going to be updated roster wise. I think we're going to have to wait till October 22nd. Reading this day one patch just seems like I don't know what the patch is going to involve then if they're not updating the rosters. I really don't have a clue. But anyway, so they're obviously Arsenal are licensed as well as Manchester United. The rest of them are very simple. Um, as you can see, you've got the newly promoted, the likes of Fulham that's coming up, Leeds. The nice thing about it is the same as last year. All they've done is added basically like, you know, these are all towns and stuff. So they, they, they're allowed legally to just put YB at the end of stuff. So you know who's who and it's set up nicely. So there's the full Premier League. You've got the full Skybet. I'm not going to go through it all because you guys know who's been promoted and who hasn't. Uh, then we've got La Liga. I mean, this all looks like, you know, terrible for you guys that don't have an option file. But don't worry, we're going to sort that out day one for you. We've got the Spanish second division with all the according teams. There is Serie A. Now, that one's pretty much licensed, but you're going to obviously not have Inter, uh, who are going to be called Lombardia, and uh, AC Milan, which is Milano. Serie B right there for you. You're going to have League 1, who have always been licensed. We've got the second league as well. Liga Nos right there. We've got the Super League. The Turkishness. Uh, you've got the Russian League. We've got the Dutch League for you. Belgium League. We've got the Danish League. As well as the uh, Scottish Premiership. 
and then you have the Super League here and then the usual South American leagues as well so you know you're basically getting the same as last year so we're not really losing too many teams apart from Inter and AC Milan uh, still plenty of teams to choose from so yeah and here is a look at the other European teams for you now we will have obviously the Bundesliga never is in Pez don't have the official license so don't worry we'll get that sorted via an option file and then you can move the likes of Bayern Munich Bayer Leverkusen Schalke etc um, into the Bundesliga and play some Bundesliga if you would like and there's a couple of other Latin American teams as well we've got the national teams so this list contains the teams that will be available in game after after again the day one patch has been applied if you want to look at them just check out the link as well in the description they've so got european african north and central america south america and asia oceania as well now finally let's have a look at the stadium list so these are the official stadiums the ones that are actually licensed so the Allianz arena Allianz stadium the likes of celtic park is there of course old trafford ibrox basically the same as last year however take note there will be no san siro so we're gonna lose that one so we actually technically have less stadiums than last year bit of a shame but i'll let them off the hook what with it just being a seasonal update and of course i'm expecting bigger things next gen however next gen i'm also a little bit worried because if they're going to build things from the ground up i don't know how many stadiums are they going to have all i ask i mean these are the pez original stadiums right these are fake stadiums they're not real they're fictional all i ask is konami just give us a load of these seriously give us a whole bucket load of fake stadiums if you can't give us a ton of license because we can use them make some really small some medium some larger some open top some whatever just give us a variety that's all i ask but anyway there's a list of the original stadiums but yeah unfortunately less than last year but hopefully fingers crossed the wait for next gen is going to be fully fully worth it so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that is it pretty much in a nutshell that's what i wanted to go over the main thing the main talking point is this the first data pack is scheduled for october 22nd take note of that for me personally it means i'm probably going to be playing my club an awful lot um to start with and then i'll go from there what's the point of me starting a master league with all outdated rosters there isn't a point it's a shame but it's certain um, you know circumstances have changed with it closing on october 5th we have to wait and yeah it, it is what it is anyway let me know your thoughts below we'll dive right back into it when we can i'll see you guys shortly until next time take care